Most of the geometry on the test is two-dimensional, but some of it is three-dimensional. In two dimensions, we can talk about area of shapes. In three dimensions, we will also talk about the volume of shapes. We'll start with the easiest three-dimensional shape, the cube. So think about what makes up a cube. A cube has six faces. So those are the six congruent squares. We call those faces. It has eight vertices, eight corners, and it has 12 line segment edges, four at the top, four going up and down, and four at the bottom for 12 altogether. The faces meet at right angles at the edges, and three mutually perpendicular edges meet at each vertex. That defines a cube. If a cube has an edge length of s, then its volume is given by s cubed. When we raise a number to the third power, we call this cubing the number precisely because this is how we find the volume of a cube, exactly the same way that squaring we find the area of a square. Each face on this cube is a square with a side of s, and so we have an area of s squared, and since there are six faces, the total surface area would be 6s squared. The cube is a special case of a more general category known as rectangular solids. The sides can be any rectangles, but we still have to have the requirement that the faces meet at right angles at each edge and three mutually perpendicular edges meet at each vertex. Notice that the opposite rectangles are congruent in a rectangular solid. The volume of a rectangular solid is the product of the three different edge lengths. So we have four edges that are the length of H, four edges that are the length of W, and four edges that are the length of D. And we just take the product of these three numbers, the volume is H times W times D, height times width times depth. The surface consists of two H by W faces, two H by D faces, and two W by D faces. Thus the total surface area is given by that formula. In a rectangular solid we can consider two different kinds of diagonals. One kind, called a face diagonal, is a diagonal of only one face of the solid. So it's like we're, we're ignoring the rest of the solid and we're just looking at that single rectangle, the diagonal in that single rectangle. To find that length, we would just use the Pythagorean theorem with the two edges of that face. In particular, here we have a right angle 3 and 4, and we want the hypotenuse. It has to be a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So AC equals 5. The other kind is called a space diagonal and does not run along a face. It passes through the interior of the rectangular solid from one vertex to the opposite vertex. So here we see it's going from A to D. For the length of this, we can use the 3D version of the Pythagorean theorem. So edge squared plus edge squared plus edge squared equals the length of the diagonal squared, the length of the space diagonal squared. So here that's going to be 9 plus 16 plus 25 equals 50. That is what AD squared is. So AD equals the square root of 50. And of course we can factor out a 25. So that's going to be 5 root 2. What is the length of a space diagonal of a cube with edge length S? Well, same thing, we use the 3D Pythagorean theorem. AB squared equals S squared plus S squared plus S squared, and of course that's 3S squared. Take a square root, and we get root 3 times S. The space diagonal of the cube is root 3 times the edge length. The test loves that little fact. Here's a practice problem. Pause the video and then we'll talk about this. Okay. So we have two lengths, the four and the six, and we have the length of the space diagonal, eight. 
and we want to find the volume. Well, the first thing we'd need is the third length. So we'll just call that D, the depth. We have 4 squared plus 6 squared plus D squared equals 8. 52 plus D squared equals 64. Subtract, we get D squared equals 12. And then D has to be square root of 12. We take a positive square root because we're looking for a length, of course. Square root of 12, we can simplify. We factor out the 4, so it's 4 times 3. Square root of 4 is 2. And so this is 2 root 3. So that's the length of the depth. Well, now we have the height, the width, and the depth. So the volume is just going to be 4 times 6 times 2 root 3. And that is 48 root 3. That's the answer. Rectangular solids are 3D shapes with 6 rectangle sides all medium perpendicularly. The volume is given by the product of the three different edge lengths. The surface area is the sum of 2HW plus 2DW plus 2HD. In other words, we're just summing over the rectangles on the individual faces. The cube is a special case of the rectangular solid with six congruent square faces for a cube of edge length S the volume is s cubed, the surface area is 6x squared. We can find face diagonals with the ordinary Pythagorean theorem and space diagonals with the 3D Pythagorean theorem.